don't have any time for any gossip now. Eh? Yeah? Yes. Hey guys, we are back for another video. Make sure you guys hit that like, share, and subscribe button. And as always, hit that bell notification so you are always notified when new videos are uploaded. And as always, let me know what you guys think in the comments. I did a video, I think it's been about a day ago, with regards to Cam Newton and his third baby mama, um, I don't know very much about her. I've been watching some of her videos just to become familiar with her because you guys have been in the comments and sending me messages basically saying the very thing that this lady has done has been the thing that she has basically told other women not to do. And y'all be right. So that's why I love the comments. Y'all be right. So I had to do my research. So what I want to talk about today is this lady does not, and she is not happy about being baby number three, I'm sorry, baby mother number three, and having number eight, I don't re recall if it's number eight or number seven baby, does it even matter? The semantics doesn't matter. The man has a bunch of kids. He states that he has seven children in total. So does that mean he counted her child? I don't know. So we know it's between six and seven. It don't really matter at this point. It really doesn't. But when I did my research, it said that he had five children by one lady, but one of those children, he is stating that he adopted. So that means he would have four by her. And then the other article said he had then two by another girl. So biologically, um, he has six and then her child would make it the seventh child. But then he also claims another child that's not biological. Well, guess what? I don't care about the biological child or not. He states that that is his child, so it is his child. I don't want to get into the semantics about that. He claims the child is his kid. Um, so he got eight kids, okay? That's a problem. But what I want to talk about is when I look at this lady and I watch her videos, there is no way in hell that she is happy about being baby mama number three to a man who damn near got 10 children. So let's jump into this, guys. And I'm going to show you guys another clip later on in the video. And we're going to come back to talk about this situation. But let me show you guys the first video clip that I showed you a couple of days ago. Now, Jazzy went on live and basically commented, and I want you guys to hear what she had to say. So those videos come out. I don't know. I'm the third one, and this is his sixth child. Mm. Someone said, ooh. Mm. <laughs> well, it couldn't have been me. All right, until the rich nigga put that pressure on me. <laughs> say i really appreciate the people checking on me and being like oh my gosh jazz your video is going viral you know fuck the haters fuck all the negativity like you know god is in control and all this stuff i'm thinking like what are you talking about i don't read it today i don't let the stop me what the i'm doing it's like i don't know what y'all is doing you know what i'm doing i just had dinner with my man and my bonus children a meal that i cooked looked around seeing everybody eating up all the shit that i made with love you know what else i'm doing about to go get ice cream with my and my bonus children. You think I give a f about what a bitch is saying about me and how I live my life? I don't. I'm happy. Y'all can have that. Shit. Yes, I see I'm going viral. Yes, I see that video is going everywhere. And I said what I said. However, what you think I'm doing? Oh, and later after I eat ice cream, I'm going to scratch my back to sleep. Period. <laughs> 
Arson. Okay, guys, so let's jump into this really quickly because I need to keep y'all with me so that y'all can understand what my ending is going to look like. So basically, the video, the first video I showed you was from yesterday, uh, but I understand you guys don't watch every video, so I wanted to show that same video from yesterday. So she went on social media and basically said, F everybody. She doesn't care what anybody thinks about her man. Um, so she basically stated that she's getting ready to go to dinner with her man and her bonus children. Get it? Bonus children. Because that is how she needs to refer to them. They are not her stepkids. He will not be marrying her. Bonus children is a name that men um, try to make a woman that they're dealing with make her seem important. Bonus children. Girl, bye. Um, and she also states that she's going to get ice cream with her man and her bonus children. And then she talks about when she comes back, she's going to scratch his back until he goes to sleep. Now, that part is, become, is going to become very interesting in the end. Keep in mind, this girl is pregnant. Her baby is not here yet. Um, when that baby comes into this world, you're going to see something very different, sweetheart, because you won't have time to scratch his back. You won't have time... All the extra stuff that you're doing for him right now, you will not be able to do that, sweetheart, because you'll have a newborn that you need to tend to. And judging on what he has done in the past with other women, he will find someone else. Now, let's get into a video clip where she talks about the type of man that he is and how selfish he is and how self-absorbed he is, but now... She's online talking a bunch of shit. And when he dumps her ass, I'm going to keep that video so I can put it up. So let's jump into this next video clip, guys. All the pick me's. Pick me's are women who try to do everything right just so a man can choose me. Yeah, cut that shit out. Because I'm going to keep it real with you. Men already know what they want in a woman and who they want. But if you're so nurturing and you're an asset and it's not you, they'll never tell you to stop doing what you're doing because it's beneficial. And I don't wanna hear none of that shit like, oh, I'm just a nice person, I'm genuinely like that. Well, bitch, you gonna genuinely get played. No, it's just that I'm just naturally like that. Like the shit I do for him is natural. And your natural ass is gonna get played. What does a submissive woman do for her man? I know you, he's spoiled. Girl, he's rotten. I'm like, he's spoiled rotten, but I love that. Like, I want him to be that. I think my biggest flex is how I treat my man. And I've been known to love people back to health. And sometimes it's very draining, but my love is my superpower. I love to see him eating the meal that I cooked. I love seeing him sleep easy. I scratch this man's back to sleep. And I know when he's asleep because I can tell when his breathing changes. It's for all okay guys, let's jump into it. So the more videos I watch of her, the woman that she was telling her following to stay away from um, is, definitely the woman that she wishes that she was. A lot of times these people get on social media and the very thing that they tell their followers not to do is the exact thing that they in fact want to do. Now in this last video clip, and I'm so glad I found that, she was telling women, do not be a pick me. Basically, stop being a nurturer. You know you're not a nurturer. Stop doing stuff to basically get a man. But then this grown ass bitch is saying that she's scratching a grown ass man's back until he falls to sleep. Is that weird as F-U-C-K? So you need to scratch his back to make him go to sleep. You need a new nigga. This don't even make any sense. So what do you think is going to happen when you have your newborn? Because you will not have any time for him. And I'm telling you right now, you just stated that he is spoiled rotten. And this is why none of his other relationships work. Because as a mother, when you have new children, you don't even have time for yourself. And that is how a lot of men end up with babies by all these different women. Because they are spoiled. And a lot of them are self-absorbed just as you just said that he is, which means when you have your child, keep in mind, he's done this numerous times. It is all about him. So when that child comes into this world, you will be tired. You will not have any time for yourself. And then you got this big grown idiot 
who wants his back scratched. And he wants you to put him to sleep. You got to put the newborn to sleep. And then you got to put a grown ass man to sleep. Girl, we don't care. We really don't care. Nobody wants him. It appears that you can't even go on a date with him without children because he is a parent who is splitting a custody schedule with three other, two, I'm sorry, two other people, which means you probably the only one at this moment who's willing to put up with that. Oh my goodness, this is too much. Let me know if y'all want me to do another video and really dig into this girl and what um, you know she has been telling people to do. And in fact, she's doing the same thing that she told her followers not to do. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, I'll catch you all in the next video.